Good day everyone, the glitch 64 here, and welcome to the, f I think the first full Let's Play on Mythic Wolves. Um, uh, Annoying Birds Tapping on Roofs, the, uh, the video game. It's quite great, I'm playing it right now. But, um, no, in all seriousness, we're playing one of my favorite games ever, Adjust the Pop Filter, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, this is going to be a 100% run, plus a bit of a speed run. Um, yeah, we're just gonna speed through the game as fast as we can, you know, um, and still get 100%, uh, of course. Um, yeah, I'm I'm doing a let's play of this because uh, it's one of my favorite games that I haven't already done on my own personal channel, The Glitch 64, since obviously my name is Glitch 64. Uh, you know, I've already done Kirby's Adventure, um, another member of, uh, Mythic Wolves is going to be doing Diamond Pearl Platinum, so that's, you know, that's going to be their thing. That's also one of my favorite games. So, yeah. Uh, I do have this on the Nintendo 64, however, because my Nintendo 64 has this weird sort of audio desync problem when I record it, I'm going to be playing the Xbox 360 version. Let's make sure I'm actually signed in. So we can get ourselves some leaderboard goodness. This is a cool feature of the Xbox 360 version. I'm actually just gonna erase this save. Um, what's our best time? Our best time for 100% is like seven and a half hours, so I don't know. I think we can beat that. Anyway, I'm not gonna be, uh, the story's gonna be sort of skipped, I apologize, but we're going to be doing this as fast as possible, so let's, let's get straight into it. I'm actually going to start the, oh, yep, alright. So I've got a timer going. Yeah. Actually, there's no point having a timer. Uh, because they're actually in-game times. Idiots. Yeah, I'm used to having a timer when I do this, but actually, there's no point because in-game runs. Uh, uh, the microphone might have been a bit low, I apologize. I forgot to turn the game back up. Anyway, I don't get any speed with the game, which is a shame. I might actually plug in ear earphones for the next section and listen to it even though it's a bit delayed. We're going to say we're already good enough, we don't need the basic tutorials. We're actually going to, because it's 100%, we're also going to get all the honeycombs, even though the game doesn't register that as 100%, we're going to register that as 100%, getting all the honeycombs. Oh, great. And I already missed... Oh my, oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we would call a reset moment. In a, in, in a speed run. Yeah, that was bad. Well, good to know the very first thing we could have fucked up, we fucked up. That's good. That that gives this pro that holds promise to this. I'm sure this is going to go great. So, yeah, for anyone who hasn't played Banjo Kazooie, this is Spiral Mountain. This is not the hub, this is just a little tutorial area. However, there are six extra honeycomb pieces. Extra honeycomb pieces, if you collect six of them, you get a little, you get an extra section on your health meter. And um, every level has two of these honeycombs, so if you get all the honeycombs in three levels, you'll get yourself a little piece of, uh, little piece of energy. However, because this is the big tutorial world, there are six right here. Very nice. Start you off with, you know, that extra health. If you're willing to put the three odd minutes into it. And there we go. There's all six. Uh, shocking time. I mean, that, this would be a complete reset if we were doing that, but, you know. Anyway, we'll just quickly go up here. Now, I believe there's a way to skip... Ah, bottles dialogue, but I, I've never ever pulled it off. I've seen it be done, but I've never pulled it off myself. Now that Bottles has stopped talking, we can go to the main hub world, which is Gruntier Gruntilda's lair. 
All right. So to get into, you know, all the worlds, we need to grab ourselves some jigsaw pieces. And we put those into paintings and they open the world. We don't go through the paintings, a la Super Mario 64, that op it opens worlds elsewhere. And to open the first world, we do need a jigsaw piece, so we're going to grab that. Uh, I think there's a way to skip more dialogue in the, um, Nintendo 64 version, as opposed to the, uh, Xbox 360 version. I think there's less skippable dialogue, which is a shame, but, uh, yeah, it definitely makes it so that the N64 and the Xbox 360 should be two categories of their own. You can't really compare the two. One of the biggest reasons is actually this level. There is a way to, um, to do this level without... Um, transforming into the termites. Uh, for those that have never played this, you can transform into uh, different things with mumbo tokens, uh, depending on what world you're in. Oh, God. Yeah, you can transform into things with the use of these mumbo tokens, and yeah, there is a way on the Xbox. Um, oh, there's a way on the 64 to do that. Um, without a termite. There's a section in this where you need to be termite, but there's a way to sort of glitch through the slope. So you don't need the termites. You need the termite in the 360 version though, because you can't glitch out the uh, termite hill. Anyway, here we're learning a sort of ground pound attack. And yeah, my energy's a bit low because I got hit by an enemy. There goes damage less percent. Okay, so in every world to get 100% by the game standards, there are 100 notes and there are 10 jiggies. You get these in each world and the game counts as 100%. However, there are also two honeycomb, empty honeycomb pieces, as I said, in each world. And that's what we're going for for 100%. So, when you're ready to leave this world, return to the style. We're not going to do that though. We are going to get that. Hit you because you're a nuisance. And here's the termite hill I was talking about. Now this is not the uh, best route for a speedrun. It's definitely not. Um, if you want to see someone on the Xbox Live Arcade do a good speedrun of this, um, I would probably watch uh, Shadow Worm, Shadow Worm instead. Obviously, since he's like uh, the best times on the 360 version. It's not fair to compare like a uh, N64 run to this, so. But you know, we're not going for like personal bests, we're not resetting anything. This is first and foremost a let's play, so whatever time we get is the time we get. Sort of, we will run with it. We also gotta make sure that we don't forget anything too, that's more of a thing. In a speedrun you can be a little more careless and if you forget something you can just reset, but you know, we don't want to reset this. Probably not going to do this whole thing in one sitting, but um, you know, if I, if I do, then the videos will be segmented. So, yeah. I'm definitely feeling like doing all the way up to Clanker's Cavern, like including Clanker's Cavern, uh, in one sitting. I don't know, by the time we get to Bubble Blue Swarm. Why is he not throwing oranges? Okay. A weird. Okay. Grab that orange real quick. Ah, the jigsaw piece, uh, look the other way. Let's just grab that. Orange to Chimpy. So to jump here. Oh no! That was a bad spot to jump to because he'll just push us off. Ah! Oh. Wow. There have been like five times where I would reset. Anyway, we'll jump up here. We need five Mumbo tokens. 
to uh, get the termites. And uh, every level also has a witch switch. The witch switch um, opens up a jiggy in the hub world that you can go and collect if you can find it. Obviously World 1 is very easy, it's just on the top of World 1, but sometimes they get a little bit more further away and you need to do a bit more thing. You need to do a bit more to get them. Uh, they're never like difficult, but you know. Okay, so we've learnt all the moves now. We've learnt the ground pound, we've learnt the talent rot. And we've now learnt how to shoot eggs. Very cool. I'm gonna stock up on a few, because we might run low later on. Now, this is the part that makes me reset the most. I'll get hit by like an orange very stupidly. Uh, a big problem you're going to notice throughout this entire uh, Let's Play is that my uh, my joystick is broken. It's very uh, it's very annoying. My joystick is basically broken so that um, it's very slightly always going up. It's always going forward, very slightly. So Banjo, when I'm standing completely still, Banjo will just sort of creep forward, and this is very bad for like like, really precise platforming sections. Ah, uh, yeah, he'll just sort of creep forward very slowly and very annoyingly. Anyway. Let's grab this Jinjo. And actually, while we're here, we can go here and miss completely! Okay, well, whatever. Let's grab this. I was trying to grab the honeycomb without being termite banjo, but I screwed up. Again, that's something where like, I'd reset a speedrun, but we're not. We've given up at this point. <laughs> I'll show you guys all the um, best times, though, that I have, because that might be interesting. We'll compare it to the runs that I've, that I've done during the, during the Let's Play. And we'll listen to it. It'll all be sort of fun. We're going to collect that note a bit later, and we're going to... That's an extra life over there, we're not going to grab it though. That's a jigsaw piece, we're going to grab that later. And now we get to shoot eggs into a totem pole's mouth. Now be very careful that you don't shoot the last one before you have gotten yourself the honeycomb piece. But uh, yes, we do have five Mumbo tokens, so let's go into Mumbo's hut and get our transformation. That <laughs> one sounds so funny spell. Alright, so we're going to press X and he is going to turn us into... Um, if you are talking to child me... Ant Banjo. I never caught on that this was supposed to be a termite. I always thought it was an ant. Because, you know, five year old me didn't really know about termites, but knew a fuckload about ants. So there you go. So yeah, we're gonna grab these as a uh, termite banjo, because you can um like there's this little animation that plays every time you get one as banjo, like he does that little jig. Uh, you know, Termite doesn't do that, so you can just go past without having to wait for that little jig. I was also supposed to get that green Jinjo last, but I forgot about the blue one, so we had to wait for this little jig. This is the most annoying section because this Termite, just, sometimes he just gets in the way of the nose and it's just right there in the way. He's very annoying. This guy's not so annoying because you don't really need to collect the eggs, unless you're like running low on eggs. If you need eggs, you can just sort of quit the game, come back here and get those eggs, and it's quick enough. Anyway, there we go, we got all the jigsaws. Grab this honeycomb piece. And we can go down here and get the last few notes. And there we go. Complete. Now we just gotta exit the world. 
and grab the last, technically the last Jiggy of Mumbo's Mountain. Alright, and there we go. Huzzah! Let's view the totals really quick, make sure we got everything. We got two jigsaw pieces here, very nice. Spiral Mountain took 3 minutes 12 seconds, eh, that sucks. Mumbo's Mountain, 8 minutes and 55 seconds. Okay, that's not bad, but um, that's not record either. Let's go to the leaderboards and check. Yeah, uh, let's go for everyone. So yeah, that's my score there. 217th for the time of 8 minutes and 22 seconds. 217th out of 446,779 current players. Pretty good. You know, 855 is not a time to sneeze at, but at the same time, it's... Uh, I could do so much better.